In this video, I will explain how to define recording rules and why those rules can be required. Let's take as an example this query. It represents interface counters of incoming traffic. Since this is a counter, to get traffic rate, rate functions should be applied. In that way, we are getting aggregated inbound traffic rate for all interfaces. And what is interesting here, that from range vector as a result we are getting an instant vector. That limits what kind of function we can apply to this result for further aggregation or recalculation. Recording rules can help us as follows. Create new time series that allows to apply functions which require range vector. Precalculate expressions. That is useful for heavy dashboards which use a lot of queries. Querying pre-computed result will often be much faster than executing the original expression. In Prometheus configuration, recording rule files are defined in rule files section. Multiple files can be defined with different names. Evaluation interval defines global default for recording rule calculation frequency. Rule file itself can have multiple groups, each with own name and evaluation interval. Precalculated expression will be saved under defined name as a new metric. New or overridden label values can be applied to newly created metric. In this case, aggregate in octets rate metric with label direction and value inbound precalculated every 60 seconds. Afterwards, Prometheus and rule configuration can be viewed in Prometheus user interface. And query will return defined metric value which can be used for further queries and precalculations. Thanks for watching. If you liked the content, hit like, subscribe and comment what you want to see next and see you in the following videos.